Okay, Madre, where are we headed? Morning, guys. It's, uh, what day is it today, Jess? Thursday. It's Thursday. Our day yesterday was kind of garbage. We didn't get a whole lot accomplished. Um, we have to finish wheat. We have our baler lined up for straw. We decided the hay was in bud, so it needs cut. Our hay bind, we completely fixed for second cut and it worked like a dream. So Mark just hooked on and went out, did one round, but he went the opposite way, which you should never do because he caught a stone. And now our hay bind is once again in parts. So uh, Jess and I, Jess is videoing, are on our way to the parts store to get yet more hay parts. We're gonna piece the hay bind back together, the disc bind back together, and uh, we it's actually been a blessing. It broke a little bit because the weather forecast has changed and what looked like some dry weather looks like we might get some rain. So we are gonna put hay on hold, yay, and uh, concentrate on wheat. So we hope to have a full pull today and finish our wheat. And then Danny's coming this morning to start baling our straw. So tomorrow I'll, tomorrow we'll be just focusing on getting straw bales off the field. We'll see what the rain does, but we're gonna cut hay after the rain. So this has turned out to be kind of a blessing in disguise because Jess and I don't really like the overlap, do we? We hate it. Yeah. Okay, it's been a busy morning, but we got all the parts back and uh, ready to go for when we get a free day to go over that hay mine yet again. What else happened? Oh, this morning I noticed that Prince William, my, my OG black and white ram, was limping. I actually noticed it yesterday. So this morning he was, he was limping still, so I gave him a, a painkiller. When I went to give him the shot, he like jumped up and he headbutted. He headbutted my nose, so it's, I don't know if you can see it, if it's all swollen. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a shiner. So these will be staying on for a while. We are just getting all set up. Jess is on the buggy now. Mark is fueling up the combine. <laughs> a big day, but we're hoping it's only just afternoon now. So hopefully we can get her, get it all done and be done wheat today. That would be sweet. Danny just texted me. He is bailing down the road and he just texted and said his tractor has to go to the hospital. <laughs> So he said he had an oil leak. So bailing might not get finished today, but we will We will see. We're not gonna take those bales out probably to tomorrow anyway. And I don't think they're calling for rain till Sunday. And today's Thursday. So I think we got some time, which is good. Last day of wheat. Hey. Thank <laughs> you. 
We are about, we're not half done. I feel like we should be about half done. Uh, we might be close. Anyways, Jess is doing a really good job on the buggy this year. For, for it only really being her second year, this stuff's big equipment and uh, you know, I grew up driving tractors so uh, when when I came into Mark's life, driving tractor was just second nature to me. Let me shut off this van. But we, I didn't grow up driving this big of equipment. I mean, we drove really small compact or mid-sized tractors. So it can be intimidating for your first, your first or second year driving this stuff. Uh, you got to kind of know the dimensions of your vehicle too. So she's got to get close enough to that header without hitting it, not getting nervous. Uh, thankfully with wheat, you can follow windrows a little bit when we drop it. It's a bit tougher when you're spreading. Um, and with corn, you can kind of follow rows. So uh, there's little tricks that you can teach, but the unfortunate part is I'm on wagon, so I'm not in with her teaching the little tip, tri tricks and t tips and tricks. So it's stuff that she's got to figure out on her own, but she's doing really well. And as they get older, they get a lot more confident. And I find just her having her full license for a year, she's a completely different driver even. Just she's got a heavy foot like her mom. Uh, but anyway, it's just nice having them involved and uh, and she seems to be loving it So I don't know. I don't know what she's saying on her blog, but she appears to be loving don't it. Don't go yet, mom. I'm gonna try and train up, but I did a second one Well, that's the first time she's done that. She must have known I was on camera uh, The other thing going on here is our neighbors that are buying the straw have already started bailing this this farm behind us uh, I, I think I think Danny's gonna he only has about 70 bales left down there, so I don't think uh, he's going to take that whole field for straw, so they'll be able to take what's left there too. Um, but yeah, there are a lot bigger bales. doing well there's Mark that's your update from the uh, wagon seat I have the most boring job of all of them but the good thing is you get footage from the combine footage from the buggy and footage from the wagons so we got you covered I snuck into the house I had to get some Advil because my headbutt to the face has now given me a really bad headache Another thing I went to do, I've been having some fun on Instagram and every day I do like, every day that I'm on the tractor I do like the snack, tractor snack of the day. So what have I had? I've had like crackers, crackers, a lot of crackers. My boobly, boobly, bubbly, sparkling water. And today's snack of the day, cherries. And they're so good. Useless information brought to you by me. You're welcome. Alright, we got a lot going on today in this farm. Danny's bailing right now. He's almost done, I bet. We're only going to take 300 bales. Mark figures there's quite a bit more than that dropped here. Um, and we also have Matt, our neighbor, he's been working at cleaning a whole bunch of old foundations on some farms that, is, that have just been kind of neglected for quite a while. So we're, we're trying to clean up a lot of our fields, get a, get a few more acres that we can farm. Uh, they've just been literally sitting here dormant for far too long and you get a bunch of scrub built up. So this has been nice to get off the list. It's been that the dry weather's been good for that, just getting caught up in all those, stu all those jobs we haven't got done. Uh, and yep, so Danny's machine is awesome. If you've seen my videos before, he's got an accumulator, an accumulator table on the back of his baler. So when he gets, I think there's five or six that get on the back, maybe five. And when the sixth one comes out, uh, the five drop and they're all in one spot. So when we go to gather bales here tomorrow, you'll see that tomorrow. Uh, it's nice because we can drop the wagon, put five bales on. And actually how it works out, usually they, they end up lining up in the field, that whole 
as every round pretty much is the same amount of straw they end up dropping around the same location and then you're picking up a whole wagon load in one spot instead of just going all over the field to pick up bales so that's been sweet that's why I do like getting Dan to do all our custom baling for that just because it's easier and he does the size that I like for my bale cart so there's always reasons behind what we do what we do and Dan's just a, a sweet dear friend of ours so anyway that's the scoop I'm waiting to fill wagons and it takes forever so I thought I would just come and take footage of Dan so here's how they all line up in the field nice so that's a dream tomorrow when I come to pick them up. Oopsie. Okay guys, we are down to our last two wagons. Uh, I just emptied these ones. Just heading back to the fields now for our final two wagons. Uh, I think what we're doing is he wanted me to just quickly empty these ones, bring them back because the rest of the field we're gonna use as seed for next year. But that's exciting, so we're almost done. I wanna just take a quick second. Uh, I uploaded my video yesterday on uh, getting the silver play button and I was really hesitant publishing it and the outpouring of love from you guys and support is just it's mind-blowing uh, this is the stuff you guys don't see but I want you to know that I just appreciate you guys being here and and subscribing and yeah it was nice to get a video with not a lot of negativity <laughs> uh, so I'm just I'm so grateful so thanks guys I'm gonna head back to the field now pick up the rest of the wheat which is going to be our seed and then, week 2020 is done.
Oh, look at the sun. <laughs> we are done. Wheat is done. I just went one round with Mark just to get some final. I didn't get to ride on the combine at all this wheat harvest, so I just I just jumped on for a little bit and uh, just uh, you can put that away and got the last of the wheat. So that's okay, it. Okay. And uh, our friends are almost done baling. They're right right on our tail so that's good so they they're just gonna work at picking away at these bales and then tomorrow is for us just a day of putting bales away so stay tuned for that